all solace ships, vessels of 300 gross tonnage and upwards, and passenger ships, irrespective of size, engaged on international voyages, are subject to the annual safety radio survey. According to the provisions of SOLAS 1974, as amended, they should be equipped with the radio equipment of the Global Maritime Distress and Safety System GMDSS. This equipment must undergo an annual comprehensive survey performed in accordance with the rules set out in IMO Resolution A115632 and a number of other instruments, including those related to national legislation. The survey is carried out by a radio surveyor. He acts on behalf of the classification society at the request of the ship administration, ship owners or other organizations being in charge of the vessel operation. The ship's administration is obliged to ensure the presence of a qualified specialist responsible for the operation of radio equipment. If you prepare properly, the survey results will be predictable. The vessel will receive certificates and other documents confirming its compliance with international regulations and conventions, as well as the requirements of the relevant classification society. It will allow the ship to work safely, at least until the next survey. If you don't, you will need to invite the inspector again for the resurvey. It means the loss of your time, money and nerves. The delay of the ship is also possible. Here is the checklist for the ship administration describing the key elements on how to prepare for the annual safety radio survey. Make sure that the following certificates and documents are available on board and they are valid. Certificates of competence of the radio operators. One member of crew with GMDSS radio maintain a license if on board maintenance option is elected. A person responsible for radio communications in times of distress should be appointed. Ship safety radio certificate for cargo ships. A record of equipment form R should be attached. Ship safety certificate for passenger ships. A record of equipment form P should be attached. Shore-based maintenance agreement, if appropriate. Test report of 406 MHz EPIRB shore-based maintenance. Ship radio station license must be valid. List of radio equipment and instructions for its operation. Radio log book. Updated ITU publications according to requirements in the radio regulations. Check that the composition of the GMDSS equipment of your vessel corresponds to the sea areas in which the ship is certified to operate. The minimum equipment that each SOLAS vessel is required to carry on board is as following. A VHF radio installation capable of transmitting and receiving DSC and radio telephony. One radar SART or A SART on cargo ships of 300 to 500 gross tonnage. Two radar SARTs or A SARTs on cargo ships over 500 gross tonnage and passenger ships. Receivers for MSI and SAR related information. A 406 MHz EPIRB. Two portable VHF radios for use in survival craft on vessels of 300 to 500 gross tonnage, three VHF radios on cargo ships over 500 gross tonnage and passenger ships, automatic updating of position to all relevant radio communication equipment, backup power systems to provide emergency communications if primary power fails. Every ship engaged on voyages exclusively in Sea Area A1 should be provided with minimum equipment. The equipment of ships operating in other sea areas A2, A3 and A4 includes the extended set of GMDSS equipment. In case duplication was chosen as the maintenance method, then the duplicated equipment for C Area A1 should include a VHF radio station with DSC. 
The duplicated equipment for C Area A2 should include a VHF radio station with DSC and an MF radio station with DSC. Ships sailing in Sea Area A3 may choose between duplication with either complete MFHF transceiver or ship Earth station providing a recognized mobile satellite service with coverage equal to or broader than the primary recognized mobile satellite service. The duplicated equipment for Sea Area A3 also includes a VHF radio station with DSC. Duplication of the equipment for C Area A4 includes a VHF radio with DSC and a MFHF radio with DSC. The third item of our checklist on how to prepare for the annual safety radio survey is to ensure that the equipment is properly prepared for survey. All its parts must be easily accessible. For example, the EPIRB should be marked with the ship's call sign, serial number of EPIRB, MMSI number, 15 hex ID and battery expiry date. The SART radar or ACE should have a waterproof marking with operational instructions, battery expiration date, ship's name and call sign. The main equipment of the navigation bridge will be tested in action. Take care of the premises where the GMDSS equipment is located. There should be available drawings, diagrams showing the procedures for responding ships to distress signals, plates with the name of the vessel as well as with the identification number of the ship's radio station, and so on. GMDSS operating guidance for masters of ships in distress situations and the procedure on false alerts developed by IMO should be posted on the navigation bridge. Prepare for checking the position and mounting of units, power boards and charges, batteries for radio equipment. Each type of equipment should be located in such a way that no harmful interference of mechanical, electrical or other origin can affect its proper use. Check the location and installation of various antennas on your vessel. During the survey, special attention will be paid to antennas. Incorrectly installed antennas can degrade the performance of radio equipment and reduce the range of radio communication. The antenna drawings should show all antennas visible from the bow or stern, from the left or right side and from above. Examine the condition of the cable network, grounding, ventilation and lighting. It should be good. You, as the administration, are also obliged to inform the surveyor about any changes and repairs of the radio equipment if any of them took place after the previous survey. When the onboard radio survey is completed, the inspector issues a report of GMDSS radio survey with a fixed data on the following tests. The annual test of 406 MHz satellite EPIRBs, the annual test of GMDSS portable VHF devices, the annual test of radar transponders SARTs, the annual test of ACE, and the annual test of GMDSS radio battery capacity. Then the radio surveyor forwards the report to the authorities responsible for issuing an international certificate, cargo ship safety radio certificate or passenger ship safety certificate. If any omissions and deficiencies are revealed, the surveyor marks them in the report and notifies the ship owner or his representative what should be done to eliminate these defects. When the corrective measures are taken, a resurvey is assigned. As you can see, the preparation for the survey requires a serious approach. It often takes longer than the survey procedure itself, but the result is worth it.